welcome everybody here watching this session live watching it later i won't beat around the bush i won't beat about the bush i'll go straight to those five points that are beneficial that should be beneficial for all of you to help you qualify ssc any examination if i say or particularly cgl 2025 This is Kabul Dev Sharma, one of the educators here at Olive Board, and let's go straight to those five points. In my opinion, you should have to crack SSC CGL 2025 examination. Of course, this strategy is for beginners also, is for repeaters also. Competition is increasing. Start as early as possible. A couple of months ago, last month, not a couple of months ago, we got the cutoff of SSC CGL that was 153 plus. 37 lakh students appeared in the examination filled the forms if i say now gone are the days where we used to qualify ssc in 137 132 or such cutoff competition is honestly increasing by leaps and bounds on a daily basis if we just get the highlights if we just get the basics we won't be able to get 150 plus marks in each and every say examination both in tier 1 and in tier 2 here, this is December 28th, 2024, we have flat six months for SSC CGL 2025. If you start right now, in a couple of days after celebrating your new year, then you have flat six months which are sufficient to cover all the basics along with the advances for examinations. So start as early as possible because you better know competition is increasing and so is the cutoff. If I talk about understand the pattern and syllabus, I know these days we don't have any changes tentatively. I have introduced this point because you know, a couple of years ago, SSC changed the syllabus for SSC CGL. Used to be 200 questions of English, now we have just 45. The minus marking used to be 1 upon 4, now that is 1 upon 3 in mains. Yesterday, the notification of SBI clerk, yep, the pronunciation is clerk in English, clerk in Hindi. Yesterday, the notification of SBI clerk has been released and they have totally changed SBI examination. One who is preparing for banking is requested and suggested to go through that. Of course, if you're preparing for SSC, no problem. But I'm saying adapt yourself to the changes. A couple of years ago, SSC CHSL didn't have any mains examination now you have the mains examination and that too important computers have marked here a couple of years ago we didn't have anything like computers in the mains examination now you have to qualify you have to qualify at least the cutoff of computers without which you can't qualify ssc cgl examination so we have to adapt ourselves as per the changes these are the things happened till 2024 and i'm putting them here God knows what happens in 2025. So be aware of that. Be ready for that also. Master all the subjects. We have to score more than 40 or 45 in English, you know, in pre, if I say. More than 40 or 45 in mathematics, you know, you should. More than 40 or 45, I should say 45 plus in reasoning, you should, you must. Because one cannot get 45 or even 40 or even 30 plus marks in gs those who have appeared in examinations know this those who haven't no problem you will know this because in gs getting eight ten questions correct is a hard nut to crack so we have to compensate the marks of gs in english in reasoning in maths so you have to master all the subjects then you can get 153 plus marks out there and please do not forget the importance of computers. A couple of years ago, I had interaction with many toppers, many students who got selected later in 2023. They took computers quite lightly because that is just a qualifying one, just qualifying in nature. They didn't work hard, got one mark less, two marks less, and that cost them a year, to be honest. Please take on computers also because it will help you qualify and it can help you, you better know. Create a proper strategy plan, study plan, because we can't be just freelancers and study on a daily basis. You better know the number of classes you have to attend as guided by the teacher. You must know your study plan, your self-study also, because not just attending classes can help us qualify examinations these days, and not just the self-study, if I talk about a basic student, if I talk about an average student, can help us qualify examinations these days. The strategy of the teachers 
the hard work of the teachers the experience of the teachers help us a lot so all these things should be properly categorized we shouldn't be studying for 18 hours a day we better know but not all also for two hours a day can help us qualify examinations you should have a proper strategy that four hours i'll be taking classes online two hours i'll be doing the self-study for this subject and that subject today for this subject and that subject tomorrow because if you find let me say one thing which is quite beneficial if you think sir i don't have 12 hours to study i do a job part-time and something such many students say so do so then you can create this attend classes on a daily basis online offline whichever platform you are choosing or you have the availability of but apart from that you can create subjects on an alternate basis for example you study english and gags today you study reasoning and maths tomorrow i hope you find my words valuable and worth if you are not capable of finding time on a daily basis for all the four subjects then please make them uh, what should i say two subjects today and two subjects tomorrow that way you can study all the subjects all together and sunday you should have some time to revise everything that has been taught in the week because it happens with many students when they are getting this they remember this when they get this they forget that there should be a proper revision also any day you decide for a week any day you decide for a month also what we have studied in the month that should also be calculated at the end, end of the month and we should have a clear concept of that also apart from that please focus on tier 1 and tier 2 simultaneously you have youtube you go through many videos from dusk to dawn and you watch like uh, i prepared for tier 1 from this course i prepared for tier 2 from that course many students do so but particularly in banking they have a level difference that means the pre ones and the mains ones the tier one tier one ones and the tier two ones they have a lot difference to be honest when it comes to ssc ssc does not have except those minute changes a lot difference they don't have a lot difference when it comes to their tier one and tier two examinations yes the level of if one finds my words different or ambiguous can check or can go through the pyqs ssc does not differ a lot in tier one and tier two examinations they are almost the same i would say more than 80 percent they are the same except a few topics that they include for mains and they exclude for the pre-examinations please consider all these things you have six months flat and i'm sure you can qualify ssc cgl there have been many students who have qualified ssc examinations in the first attempt in the very first attempt, to be honest please have a proper plan please consider both the tiers except those topics you are, that are not going to be beneficial for your tier one you can drop them but at least you should be ready for the tier two also you must have a proper study plan you should master all the subjects because the more you study in ga and gs it's not sure the more you get in the results or the marks you have to score maximum in quants and english and reasoning gags may may not be effective for you for anyone it has not been effective for last six or seven years do understand the pattern adapt yourself to the changes in case there may be any coming further and of course 153 marks in the tier one what about tier two and what about the final merit you must start as early as possible i suggest start from 2nd of january after enjoying as much as you can but yes we don't have more time much time to waste now i hope my words are crystal clear apart from that i've just putting words quants is not mine i don't teach reasoning ga and gs i'm just putting words but yes when it comes to english I can have the clear idea that three things make English. English is not just a word. If I say my English is weak, my English is strong, your examinations comprise three things in English, three parts of English, your grammar, your vocabulary, and your reading skills. When it comes to topics like error detection, sentence improvement, voice and narration, they totally depend on grammar. When it comes to topics like antonyms, synonyms, idioms, phrases, say one words and spell check they totally depend on vocabulary but when it comes to topics like rcs in the mains cgl say parajumbles in mains and pre also say close tests you totally need good amount of reading skills and you should comprise all these all together apart from that if you 
practice through mock tests of course everyone knows that we can get good score in english if you just go through english grammar if you just go through english vocabulary sir i have finished black book three times but i'm not able to finish the basic concept of grammar they will cost you a lot to be honest so please consider all these three things all together i know you know this attempting a mock is mandatory but if you are just a beginner you should not start up attempting a mock on a regular basis today onwards because you don't know anything now you are a pupil this time be a student and start appearing in the mocks out there so please build your vocabulary quite helpful for ssc examinations also for banking please focus on grammar rcs and parasimples and please practice those reading skills on a daily 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 basis if you are a beginner you can make that strategy plan from the basics if you are a repeater you better know what mistakes you committed in the previous examinations please avoid them and before i finish this video i must say mistakes are of two types the silly mistakes and the concept basic ones if you are committing the silly mistakes that's your fault you should pay more attention to that because you know the concept still you are answering wrong if that's a concept basis one i didn't know the concept i should learn that learning is always mandatory but avoiding silly mistakes is also mandatory in last 10 minutes i think i put the best i can see you in the classes here on youtube also in the app ones also if somebody is willing to join and um is somebody is willing to join olive board we have an offer this time one can use the code h n y oh happy new year great and get flat 52% off on any subscription we suggest you get ssc super elite the all in one subscription in which in which you get access to all the mock tests classes notes courses batches not only the running ones but also the upcoming ones yes if you subscribe to ssc super elite you get access to all the courses classes and everything such here in the ssc stream at olive board happy new year from my side too from our side too this offer ends on 2nd of january you can get access as soon as possible do subscribe to the channel if you are new here would love to see you in the classes do connect with us on the official telegram channels also thank you that's my time see you soon